Hello friends, this video on water, a precious resource part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question in front of us is, why water scarcity? Why is water becoming insufficient? Why there is lack of water in some places? What's wrong with those places? So that's one thing that we have to troubleshoot, that we have to see what's happening there. The second question that might strike your mind is, don't we have enough sources of water? Because if, if I am saying that water is insufficient, that means we are not getting enough water. So the first thing that we have to think is from where are we getting the water? So basically they are the sources of water. So does that mean that we do not have enough sources of water? Right? So we have to look at the various sources of water. That is from where, what are the places from where we get water? So then we will see if we have sufficient number of those places from where we get water. If yes, then why do we have water scarcity? So you see all of these are linked to each other. So let us talk about the sources of water. So what are those things from where, which we get water? Now some of the common sources of water are rainfall. So rainfall is something which gives us water. So from where rainfall happens, it is nothing but the clouds which are present in the atmosphere so they precipitate in the form of droplets of water and that's how rainfall happens and rainfall is a very important source of water because it provides us with a lot and lot of water next is surface water now there are a lot of water bodies which are located on the surface of the earth for example ponds lakes rivers oceans so these are all water bodies so it is just that ponds are small water bodies oceans are very big rivers are like I mean, smaller than oceans but yes bigger than ponds so that means they might vary from each other in their size in their look and in their behavior but all of them contain water so all of these act as water reservoirs. Reservoirs means storage. So they act as uh, vessels which store water. So they are kind of water reservoirs and they are all present on the surface of the world, earth. Therefore, they all together form the surface water. Third is groundwater. Now, even below the ground, we have a lot of water. How do we know that? How can I be so sure about that? Because, okay, when I talk about rivers or ponds, you might say that, okay, yes, we have seen rivers and ponds and they contain water. But how do we know that even below the ground, we have water? So that becomes evident with the wells and the tube wells. So have you ever seen the wells? So how do you construct a well? You just keep digging below the ground and then you reach a level where you see water is present. So as you dig deep inside the earth, you see that water is present. And that's how a well is formed. So a lot of water actually is present below the ground and that is called ground water. So examples of, of uh, things through which we can make use of the ground water are wells, tube wells. So tube wells, when you pump it, so the water is actually pumped from below the ground and then it comes out like this. So these are basically some common sources of water. Now if I say that water is becoming scarce these days, so that there can be two possibilities. One possibility is that one of these sources or one or more of these sources have vanished or we do not have sufficient number of ponds, lakes, rivers, wells, rainfall. So either, either there is uh, insufficient sources of water or the sources of enough water are enough but the demand of water is even more. So these are the only two options which is possible to cause water scarcity. So let us try to understand what exactly causes. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.